everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to do my office glam makeup look this is the makeup routine i'm doing almost every day so let's get started so let's start off with the milk hydro grip set and refresh spray i'm still testing this out and i do that mainly for moisturizing my skin so that makeup will go on smoothly the next step i'm going to take my milk hydro grip primer I'm taking it a little bit because I have already put the setting spray and now I'm going to put on the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Foundation. Mine is in the shade 120N. This one is a little bit lighter than I need and a little bit more to the rosy side so I prefer neutral to warm tones foundation but since I'm going to use bronzer a little bit I think that I will balance the color out with that one I also prefer using makeup sponge especially right now so that makeup sponge gives me more dewy skin like finish so I'm looking pretty pale right now, but I will balance that out with concealer and bronzer. So the next I'm going to use my concealer, so I will mix these two together. This one is Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer in the shade 1.5. And another one is Hourglass Vanish Concealer in the shade Birch. I don't use concealer a lot. So when I'm getting ready for work, I usually put my concealer with my finger, but sometimes I use my Sephora 57 brush for that. But usually I am in a hurry and I use my fingers. So the next step is liquid highlighter. So sometimes if I do have time, I like to use my Say Glowy Super Gel in the shade Star Glow. This is the product I also like to apply with my fingers just because it's faster to do so so the next step is I like to do is quickly contour or bronze my face um, this time I decided to put milk makeup sculpt stick in the shade toasted I really love that product so today I want to apply this one just to give myself slight definition to my face when I'm getting ready for work I don't usually do too much because it's not really appropriate <laughs> to put a lot of makeup but still i have something i also like to contour my nose very much so i'm taking my luxie brush for that and next i'm going to put on a blush so i'm going to use my mac glow play blush in the shade cheer up this is one of my favorite blushes because I really like the color on my skin tone. So this blush, when applied lightly, gives this beautiful pinky peachy color and not too much. So on the camera, it may not be as bright as in real life. So in the mirror, I see the color brighter. But of course, you can do this color pretty transparent if you like that look. All depends on the layers you put. So this is the blush with a contour and now I need to set my under eyes and my face with powder. So for my under eyes I am using my beloved Say Air Set powder in the shade Translucent. I've been loving this powder a lot because of the light reflecting particles on it. So I only use this powder under my eyes and for my face I'm going to use NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop powder in the shade Fair. And I'm going to apply it with my brush. So usually I'm oily on my T-zone but mainly on my forehead. So I powder my forehead much more than the rest of my face. So this powder with contour stick balance the pale color of foundation so I would say that I can use the color 120 neutral so for the reference I used to use NARS natural radiant longwear foundation in the shade Mont Blanc and this is 
typically my color but I don't like the tone of this color so these two are they don't look similar in the packaging but on my hand this one looks much more pink than this one and so for example the hourglass ambient soft glow foundation in the shade 3 is yellow but this undertone is more suitable for me comparing to my neck so i need foundation with the more neutral leaning towards yellow tone so basically i am able to use this color but but when i'm using other powders on top so now i'm going to put on a little bit of bronzer this one i'm going to use hourglass ambient lighting bronzer in luminous bronze light so i'm taking this big fluffy brush and i just quickly go over my sculpted areas so i do that just to warm my skin a little bit and next i'm going to put a little bit of blush this one is buxom wanderlust blush in the shade havana like so and for my highlighter i'm going to use fancy beauty demi glow in pretty pearls so now to the brows so usually i am spending a lot of time on my brows because this is the part of my face i need to work more but usually when i'm getting for work i don't have a lot of time so if i have time i do use my anastasia beverly hills brow with and pencil but on occasions i don't have time i only use some sort of a brow gel this one is from patrick ta clear and a pen so this one is from suku 01 i think and a pencil so this one is also from suku this one is also in the shade number one, I think. And then I'm going over with a clear brow gel. And while it sets, I'm trying to lay my brow hairs in the direction I want them to be. Like so. So I'm going to continue with my second brow and I'll be back so i am back with my brows on and so before i put on my mascara i want to put on my eyeliner from sephora in the shade coconut so i love that these eyeliners in white and skin color tones they make eyes appear more bright and awake and this is what i want in the morning so before i um put on mascara I'm going to set my face with the same Mel Hydro Grip set and refresh spray so I've been doing that sometimes alternating this one with a Charlotte Tilbury setting spray but I haven't made up my mind about this one so I'm still trying to understand which one I love better now let's go on with makeup so i'm going to apply my beloved mascara as of right now this one is ysl lash clash mascara i did not expect to love this mascara as much as i do right now but i really really love that one and i noticed that i'm grabbing this mascara much more frequently than this one this one is my go-to mascara as of recent three months i think so before i apply my mascara i always always curl my lashes with this shiseido eyelash curler so my eyelashes are straight and i never ever apply mascara without this curler the only downside i see with this mascara is that the wand is pretty big and it dries out pretty quickly the formula itself wasn't the most liquid in the beginning but still i would like mascara to last longer so this was one coat of mascara and now i'm going to put on second coat this is what i always do with my mascaras 
So this mascara is great if you love voluminous lashes and separated lashes. So I love that effect and that's why I've grown to love this mascara. <laughs> so let's finish off this look with lipstick. So I'm going to put on my favorite lipstick as of right now. I prefer using more pinky tones, especially with this blush. And so I'm going to take Makeup Forever in the shade Endless Cacao and Pupa 004. So I'm going to start off with Endless Cacao and now I'm going over with Pupa. This one is a more pinky shade. And now I'm going to take two lipsticks. This one is from Kjar Weiss in the shade Gracious. So I am putting it all over and also I'm putting just a little bit in the center Charlotte Tilbury King KW. And now I feel like I want to put a little bit of gloss with sparkles and so I'm going to put on Buxom in the shade April just in the center. And I think that this is finished look. So on the days I don't have much time, I put on my BB cream, under eye concealer, my brow gel and mascara and that's it. But most of the time I try to plan my time so that I will have a little bit of time for this kind of makeup. So I've tried this Lancome foundation in this video for the first time and i think that i love the finish but of course i need more time to figure out if i love it or not but as of right now i love the finish it gave and i think this is it so i hope you enjoyed watching this video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and see you in my next one